how to set up shopify payments hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about shopify and how you can set up your payments and set up your store so having said that let's just jump into it so this is the website right here shopify.com and all you have to do is just simply sign up now i'm going to be using a temporary email and i'm just simply going to paste it over here and click on get started and once you've started just simply click on next and over here, just simply enter in your first name, your last name, and your password, and you can create your Shopify ID, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll catch you guys in a little second. And there we go. Okay, so now that's done. All we have to do is now name our store, and it can be anything. You can relate it to your product. Maybe, like, if you have a pet, maybe you can, like, add in the, your pet's name and be, like, Gabby's Toys, or maybe anything you want. Literally anything. So for now, I'm going to write cc's toys and after that that's going to be my domain name dot my shopify.com and click on next and now over here what are you selling what is your current revenue and what industry are you operating in now these are some of the questions that they ask just to help you get started uh, based on your responses so you can go ahead and skip that if you want or click on next i'm going to go ahead and skip and over here just simply fill out this form and you're good to go and over here, this is your dashboard. So over here, as you can see, you have a bunch of different options. You have your products, you have your customized theme, you have your pages, you organize navigation, and you can add your domain if you want to. So first things first, what we want to do is we need to add some products. Now you can go ahead and add some products by clicking on this button over here, or you can go ahead and click on apps. And over here, we can find an app that can help us to get our products that we want, and we can directly ship them from AliExpress over into our shopify account and we can start selling them online so this is the application right here obrello this is a drop shipping application it's pretty easy so what we're going to do is we're going to install it over here and then we're going to go ahead and import some of the products from aliexpress and start moving over to the next step so over here simply click on add app over here scroll down as you can see this app is going to be installed click on install app wait a couple of seconds and it'll take you over to the Obrello account you can go ahead and log in with Obrello account if you have one that isn't connected with any other store or you can go ahead and create a new Obrello account i'm going to go ahead and create a new account and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and it's really simple just simply enter in your email address your password and click on create an account and it's done and once you've done that as you can see it's done so over here let me just close this up so over here on the left side we have a bunch of different options we have import list we have products orders notifications what we're going to do is we're going to click on products and over here click on find product and it'll take us over to aliexpress and over here we have a bunch of different options we have our you know categories over here is down below we have our products what we want to do is we want to go over to toys and hobbies and over here we just find a product that we like so a bunch of different options over here let's just say that this is the product that we want uh, over here this little uh, truck thing over here we just simply hover our mouse over it and we click on add to import list and if you want more information just simply click on the product and it'll take you to the home page on aliexpress where it'll show you all the details of this product now as you can see it's imported we'll go over to the import list and over here we'll see the product now what we can do is we can go ahead and change the name and let me just go ahead and erase some of this over here and uh yeah here we go now that that's done we can go ahead and add in the type and insert tags over here if we have one but we can leave it at that now once you've you know done everything we have a bunch of different variations of it as well we have different colors you can ch change that you can change the pricings over here the description and you can even add more images if you want so once everything is done just simply click on import to store import as draft wait a couple of seconds for it to be imported and there you go you have the green tick it means it's imported now we go back to shopify and click on products and over here we'll find our product ready to go over here as you can see so right now it's in draft but we can set it as active later by installing some of the other things such as sale channels so if we come over here onto the left side here we have sale channels over here and if we click on plus button we can go ahead and add in a sales channel that we want so we have facebook we have google we have buy buttons point of sale everything 
we can go ahead and add that and set up our you know sale channels and we're done and then we just have to you know come back over here and you know choose this product and click on more options and we can set it as active and then once it's set as active we can start selling this product onto our sale channels and we can go ahead and start drop shipping it so but then we need to set up our payment method so to set up a payment method this is the main part of the video what you came for we come over here onto the bottom left corner we click on settings it'll take us over to here so over here we have a bunch of different options as you can see we have plans billings user permission payments checkouts and stuff like that what we want to do is we want to click on payments and over here we have a bunch of different options we can choose a provider payment provider and we have paypal checkout and we have manual payments as well if we click on add manual payments we have bank deposit money order cash on delivery or create a custom method if we want to it all depends upon you and we can even choose a provider as well so if we click on choose provider we have a bunch of different options over here so we have two checkouts faster pay aid in airpay we have a bunch of different options that is supported by visa mastercard amex discover jcb and apple pay what i want to see is i want to see one that has everything so it has two more it has two more no hmm. what about this one world pay unavailable in your country so some of these options aren't available in my country hmm so i guess these two three are available for me so i think this one would look better because it has more options because it has visa mastercard amex discover jcb and diners club you know i think this would look good so if i click on that and over here what we want to do is we have a bunch of different options we have to set up instructions over here we have to create a two checkout account log in and activate our account access the integrations which is called the webhook and api section in our cpanel and uh, we have to copy the merchant code and paste it in the merchant code over here and then we have to generate a new ins secret word and paste it in the secret word section over here and then we have to click on settings and in the direct url section check enable return after sales and for the redirect url section leave blank shopify will do that for you so over here as you can see and uh, for return method select header redirect and then click on save settings and we're done so i'm gonna go ahead and do all of these steps so i will catch you guys in a little bit and also another thing i forgot to mention is that the credit card rate so over here we have the uh, credit card rate so as you can see zero percent transaction so we're good to go so let me just go ahead and do that so if i click on this button it'll take me over here this is the to check out account over here we can sign up for free and we can get started so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll catch you guys in a little bit okay so i have created an account and over here is the integration setup so here's the webhook and api and over here this is going to be your merchant code and down below is going to be your uh, ins service or ins secret word you just simply have to copy these two and over here just simply paste them over here just simply click on activate to check out and once that's done there we go as you can see it's been activated now we just simply click on save and to check out updated and there we go now we go back and as you can see this is our payment method we can add that as well that's been added we can even add this payment method as well or we can add a manual payment method cash on delivery money order or bank deposit that all depends upon you and over here we have other automatic payments as well set up that as well so once everything is done you're good to go so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it that's how you basically you know set up payments in shopify and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye